disaster strike in different places all around the country, from wildfires out west, hurricanes in the south and east, tornadoes in the Midwest, you name it, all kinds of disasters. AT&T's Network Disaster Recovery, our mission is to get in and restore communications, emergency communications as quickly as possible. Keeping our customers connected is priority number one for AT&T. It becomes even more important during a disaster. NDR is important for our customers because when service is down, that's where we come in. We're there providing service at the worst of times and the best of times. Weather does not wait for pandemics. It doesn't stop. It just keeps spinning and keeps destroying and keeps wreaking havoc, and that's why we're here. We are clearly the industry leaders. No other provider has the same capabilities that we do. We actually do it, and we can actually show that we do it. We've done this for years now. We have the stories to tell. We have the pictures to prove it that we've done it. I think it's fair to say that within our kind of line of the business, 90% of our time really is spent preparing and making sure we're ready. Ensuring response teams have all the necessary resources to deploy at any time, it actually begins before the event. And the disaster recovery team practices and maintains this constant state of readiness. Knowing that you've trained all year for this moment, to ensure that these people have their cell service or have their community-based network back up and running or continued running. Our goal is to never let their service down. Network disaster recovery really plans for the catastrophic event. It's like the ultimate insurance policy. It's fast, it's tangible, it's reliable, and it has instant feedback. The COVID-19 virus is definitely a challenge but we're already prepared. We haven't missed a response because of COVID-19, and I feel like we've done a good job protecting our responders. Everything from job aids, maintenance, upgrades, responder readiness, their recurring training, even down to pre-packed go bags. It's cared for in advance of that phone call. So we have a core NDR team of about 40 individuals. Those individuals have responsibilities from strategy to technology engineering to actual deployment capabilities. These are the folks who every day their job is to make sure NDR assets are working, maintained, the technology is the latest technology, that the technology works and that also the NDR team goes through its proper management procedures, so our incident command folks. Then we have the AT&T NDR volunteers. I have nothing but respect for the AT&T employees that are volunteering with us, so that is seven, 800 employees, right, dedicated to always being trained and ready to respond. These are AT&T employees who have other jobs in the company, engineers, field workers, technicians, planners, retail store folks, you name it from every walk of life in the company. I have volunteers that span the globe, bringing together different skills, different languages. So we're very strategically placed around the world and very well placed to hit all of our logistics challenges. They train with us. They you know, are committed and passionate about restoring service for our customers and our first responders. Our NDR team, National Disaster Response Team, has been around long before FirstNet was, making sure we always take care of public safety, whether it's planned, emergency, and urgent. The NDR group is the uh, operational side of the program, and they are the responders that go out with the vehicles, that are trained specially in FirstNet, safety training, incident command, and know how to deal and talk and respond to public safety when they arrive on the scene to deploy our equipment. Our relationship with the FirstNet team is very strong. Think of them as the quarterback for the organization. They give us our guidance in terms of the types of events that we need to support. 
and we execute on their behalf. So even though we're the NDR team, we're an extension of the FirstNet team, and we operate very seamlessly and, and very effectively. Tropical storm winds today around 40 miles per hour, with gusts possibly up to 50 miles per hour and then weakening further near Columbus, Georgia. We have a very strong relationship with the AT&T AWOC team, AT&T Weather Operations team. It's not just about weather, it is about how weather is impacting the AT&T network. Well, the AT&T Weather Operations Center is tasked with being the subject matter experts for all things weather. We cover and support NDR in every aspect of uh, their operations, from pre-deployment to pre-staging to actually getting into the impact area. It's critical because we need to be able to make sure that at and is perfectly positioned to uh, respond to these threats in a proactive manner. So with our weather intelligence, we're able to really give pinpoint information that helps them make the best decisions in terms of employee safety and also uh, response and recovery. We can't be reactive and wait for them to happen. We have too much on, at stake, too much on the line. They're counting on us. To learn more about AT&T, subscribe to this channel, visit the AT&T Newsroom, or watch more videos in the playlist seen here.